Jordan, it's Briggs, you copy? I'll be keeping you posted on this one. I've uploaded the RV coordinates to your PDA. Time is short, so I'll brief you on the way. Suggest you get moving. Our client, Eastern Analog, hired us to do their dirty work for them. They're no longer able to compete with Future Tech, especially now that they're unveiling their newest product, the Solid State Drive, or SSD. They want us to acquire its specific advantages over other products. An important material used in it, its structure, and the material's notable properties in connection to the application of the product. With that data, our client should be able to reverse engineer the SSD and add a few extra digits in our bank accounts for us. From what we've uncovered so far, an SSD, put simply, is an oversized version of a USB flash drive and is used as storage in computers, like how traditional hard disk drives or HDDs work. However, unlike normal HDDs with a spinning disk and magnetic head, SSDs use an array of semiconductors organized as a disk drive. Because of this, SSDs contain no moving parts. This new hardware setup gives it several advantages. Particularly, it uses less power, makes less heat, more tolerant to extreme temperatures, quieter and lighter than regular hard drives. In terms of performance, our informant should be able to shed some light on that. Low temperature causes brillness in materials. Ah, Agent Jordan, take a quick look at this performance data. It is amazing how the SSD can get work done in less than half the time, sometimes even a third. We benchmarked this SSD in a MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro with a regular hard drive took 46 seconds to start up. The SSD took nearly half the time, at 24 seconds. This SSD has a huge performance advantage over the HDD. I'll meet you at the server room. It's better if we split up. I'll upload the coordinates onto your PDA. Bon chance. We'll be able to get intel on the important material used in it in the server room. Might I also recommend you head there quietly. Sleeping on the job, eh? Try throwing that brick to distract him. Be advised, Dr. Giroud's performance data suggests that SSDs are largely made out of silicon wafers, which, based on the name, obviously contain silicon. However, we'll have to confirm this in the server. Out. Be advised, the Eastern Analog servers are awaiting your upload. Silicon, one of the most abundant elements in the universe. It is often found in sand in the form of silica. This element is a semiconductor and has a nice property of being able to stay solid at high temperatures. Silicon has four valence electrons and so it can form a covalent bond with four other silicon atoms. Unfortunately, pure silicon does not make a good conductor of electricity as all the electrons have stabilized, so we must introduce impurities through a process called doping. By doping silicon with an element with more electrons, we end up with an extra electron. This makes an n-type semiconductor. On the other hand, if we choose an element with less electrons, we end up with a hole for electrons to fill. This makes a p-type semiconductor. By combining these two semiconductors, we can create transistors, an electric switch that is the heart of all computers. By applying a certain amount of voltage, we can control the flow of the electrons in the transistor. We can then consider a transistor without charge to represent the one state, and a transistor with a negative charge as the zero state. Notice that the transistor in SSDs are a floating gate transistor. The floating gate ensures that 
the electrons get trapped so that even when there is no power, the transistor is able to retain its charge. Now, this transistor is fully capable of storing one computer bit. We can then create more and more of these to store bytes and gigabytes of data in binary. Now, we've been detected. We had a hidden firewall. I'm picking up every well, security guard in the building, converging yeah, on your position. Possible. Get the Very hell out of there now! It's an easy way, I'll watch and see. Red Crow, we have on contact. Tech Electro 9, you're requesting a different call to our position, ASAP. Copy that, shot justice. Contact us again, it's not time to open. Red Crown, be advised, Shotgun 6 as EKG just flatlined. Presume KIA, over. Red Crown, apologize. All call signs, be advised, Tango Primary is extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution, over. This is Red Crown. Be advised, we have possible infiltration at the server room. Code Red is in effect. Over. Our client, Eastern Analog, hired us to do their dirty work for them. They could no longer compete with Future Tech, which is at the verge of controlling the hardware market. They want us to steal plans of their new SSD. With that, they could tip the balance back to our clients' favor. Mission is a go, people.